I'm a big fan of the Nick software products. I use them just about every day. I use them for my wedding work, my senior work, my portraiture work. I use them for my commercial work. There are so many different tools that they offer. Yeah, and I use just about everything in the entire suite of Nick software products. And I'm not getting paid to say this. I just love the product. Um, one of the things I'm going to demonstrate today is Viveza 2. Viveza 2 is a wonderful little program for doing um, really quick adjustments in small areas or even large areas of a photo where you're just really trying to control one particular tonal range or color range or just one particular area. I find it's just a lot faster to do it in Viveza than it is in regular Photoshop and more often than not I like the results better from the from Viveza 2 than doing a similar type of technique in Photoshop. What I'm going to show here today is how you can use Viveza 2 to very, very quickly clean up a high key shot. Um, I tend to shoot high key um, very infrequently, and um, I'd rather err on the side when I shoot high key, I'd rather err on the side of maybe just slightly under lighting the background to minimize flare and to minimize some of the weird contrast issues you get uh, with digital sensors, especially in Canon cameras, where you have too much light coming back into it and it just kind of washes the whole thing out. So I'd rather underlight the background just a little bit, find a couple of A shots, and very, very quickly trick them out in Viveza 2. And here in our example, we have a fitness model. This is Heather. Um, this, is gonna, this is part of her portfolio. I'm just grabbing a very quick shot that you can see there's some grayness here in the background, up here in the corners. Um, we can fix that very quickly. And it's actually, I find easier to fix it in Viveza 2 than to spend an extra half an hour or whatever just tweaking that lighting. And I, that's really counter to the way I normally like to work. I normally like to work by getting everything right in camera. This is one of those situations where you get it pretty darn good in camera, knowing that your next step will be very, very simple and something that you can do uh, that's repeatable and saves a, really a lot of time in the long run. So I'm going to go to uh, my Viveza, to my, to my Nick software here, and click on Viveza. It's going to come up. Now in your Nick control panel here, there's a lot of different views. You can have uh, just a standard image. You can have a split view where you can have like a before and after. The after is on the right, the before is on the left, or you can do a side by side. I'm going to show a side by side here. And how Nick works, um, especially in Viveza 2, is you add control points. And in this particular case, what I want to do is I want to take that grayness, that unevenness that's in the background, and smooth it out. I want it all to be kind of a nice, even white tone. So I'm going to add a control point down here in this gray area. And all I'm going to do is just take the brightness of that gray up until it equals pretty much everything else in the background. The next step I can do is I can say, OK, expand your whole selection and do the entire image. Now what this does, how Viveza works, is it grabs certain color ranges or certain tonal ranges and makes adjustments just to those. Now in this particular case I just, I just adjusted the brightness but you can go in and say we want to adjust the contrast of the skin or in um, an architectural shot maybe the contrast and the brightness of the wood um, you can control the saturation, you can control the structure, so it gives it a little bit more depth and a little bit more sharpness. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can control. You can control the shadows, you can control the warmth, you can control the individual R, G, and B channels, you can control the hue. Incredible tool. Um, I use this quite often when I'm trying to punch up a little sky. Um, again, I try, to, I try to capture my skies um, as well as I can in camera. Um, but there are some times where you got to err on the side of you know lighting the person, lighting the bride, lighting the subject, and you can't quite hold the sky as much as you would like to. Um, you can pop it into Viveza and pop some saturation back into that sky very, very quickly. So coming back to our example here, how you can use this for high key images. I've talked for a couple of minutes about it. It took me 20 seconds to make this adjustment. Now one thing you'll notice here is it looked like it brightened up her skin in this area and it brightened up actually her eyes and her teeth. Um, it grabbed the whiteness from that and took it up a took it up a notch. I actually like that. Um, I think it just added a little extra sharpness and definition there that maybe we would have done in Photoshop. Um, Viveza kind of did it for me. Now, if I didn't like it, I could take it away very easily. For example, I don't like like how bright it made it here. I'm going to go ahead and add in a separate control point in there, and it takes away what the other control point had done. Pretty cool. So 
Just using these very simple control points, we can make our selections and make individual adjustments to those selections very quickly, very efficiently, and love the results. We'll just click OK, and this just creates a layer above my original layer that, again, I could go in and I could mask if I wanted to tweak it even further. I could take down the opacity, whatever. But you know what? This is pretty good as it is. So a very, very quick way of adjusting and tweaking your high key shots where maybe your tonality throughout the background isn't exactly what you're looking for. You can fix it in 15-20 seconds.